What is up, risk takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete strategy. I am Pete. I am a top 10 player playing Risk Global Domination on PC. I have a daily release schedule on YouTube. I do a uh, fixed game on Fridays, usually classic. I do a podcast on Wednesdays, and every other day is whatever I feel like. If you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and come along this ride with me. And today we are playing what I had hoped was a six-player game. Now it looks like we're a three-player game with three bots on Qing Dynasty. I'm going to do a little Master the Map. This is the Map of the Week, so I'm going to post this for Monday. <laughs> and Yellow pisses away their first turn. Just like that. Wow. Okay. General Ping. 77.56. One hit and quitter. Uh, seven hours played with two wins and 25 losses. One hit or quitter. Okay, boom, boom. Gonna let green take over in the top there. Orange bot takes this continent to bet. Magenta bot going to take Manchuria. I lose a three stack. Probably gonna lose that two stack too. Unless I get it out of there. And I'm in the fourth position. This is my uh, Anything Goes account. I usually like to play six player, but uh, it's having trouble firing a lobby. So, I'm in two positions. I'd like to go there and pull that army that way. But it occurs to me that this is a 1v1. So my job is just to kill green. But I guess I can't lose to yellow either, because yellow started their first turn as a human. Just take green out of that position. Green's down to 10 troops, but I'm at 15, so I have to be careful. Not to die. Ooh, that might not be good for green either. Do we even make it to green's turn? Green player, Orin Bando, flying the flag of Singapore with 82 hours played. Record is 23 wins and 133 losses. I'm going to take this continent. Tartari. Get broken by orange here unless they break preemptively. Yep. Now all I gotta do is move my forces into this corner and eviscerate green. Make sure this four stack gets the hell out of there. Oh, I can cut through. Perfect. Green's going to be allowed to hold a continent. They actually have more troops than me. Guess not. Okay. I'm going to consolidate in this position and then push that way. And uh, it'll be a real quick one today. Quick little video. I do like this map. Was not quite consistent enough at it to play ranked on my main account after a while, but I, I was reasonably good at it. In the off times it was map of the week, and it's map of the week again, so. Put one of these out there for you all. Uh, trick to this map, the Wall of China. So it defends uh, the territory south of the wall. Defend if you're attacking north of the wall, like a cap with three dice. I'm going to lose this here. Yellow is going to take the Chinese capital region of Zhili.
have to make sure I can kill yellow as well, otherwise I would technically lose this game. I'm also disincentivized from taking a continent. Because it seems like the bots like to break. Slowly walking my way towards Green's corner. Could have also positioned myself there to take out yellow. It's quite early though. Makes more sense to just remove my actual threat first. Alright, he has the same idea. No, well, now is the time to use the attacker's advantage. Let's see if we get lucky. did not expect this to be a 1v1 video. Eight sack and a punch one. Hopefully it doesn't gum me up so I can just go punchy. A little bit, but not that bad. Surprised that one stack survives. Okay. Magenta puts in up there. No, they come out of Manchuria. I got lucky. Seven troops remain to their two. Um, they will have a turn. Maybe they have a match. I don't have a match on four. I expect uh, Magenta to kill green for me. And then I can hook back around kill yellow, and then I will have all the rank points from the game. Orin Bando. If you do not match, this is your last turn. <laughs> sure. Surrounded by magenta, I betcha magenta takes him out with a with a four trade. We'll see. We'll see which way Magenta goes, having all their continents be broken. Maybe Green can survive. Me not having a match on four sucks. But I like my position a lot. I can get an easy take on Tibet. And even if Magenta doesn't kill him, I can line myself up for next turn. Yeah, it doesn't look like Magenta's going to kill him. I'm going to put my stack here. Is there a better play? Yellow has one card. Green knows that I'm coming after them, so... He's trying to hide, but... There's no hiding. I'm gonna get ya. Do you have a match, sir? Same question. Just put three troops there and stack, and that's it. Have they bought it out? Orin Bando, you're in trouble. I am coming for you. Get a card. Good. Match point is 12. Pretty ruthless game, this game. 
sometimes. Ooh, yellow blocks me. Yellow blocks me. Let's get lucky. I mean, take yellow. I could take yellow. No. There we go. Magenta opens it back up. All right, that's the game. Kill green, then kill yellow. That was easy. Also, I want to line myself up to kill blue. around that territory and didn't take it. <laughs> Holding five cards. Both my AI opponents have three cards. Orange matches in next. Match point is now 30. It's a lot of troops for a tiny board like this. King Dynasty is small. We want to keep track of how small we have. 35 territories. Oh, and Magenta's a match on three as well. And just to keep track, uh, these are the territorial bonuses. Manchuria is worth two. Mongolia is worth two. Tartaria is worth two. Jili and Shangan are worth four. Tibet is worth three. Langguang is worth plus five. And Yangjiang is worth plus three. Uh, neither of these guys is particularly worth my while to kill. So failing that. I will. I think I still kill Magenta. Why not? Just played enough bots at this point. also have the AI completely surrounded in the middle of the board. I'm curious to test out the wall. So if I put troops here and I manual roll, what's going to happen? They do defend with three. Would you look at that? Defending over the wall. Huh. Good to know. Brutal hit. Makes way more sense to go the other way. Okay. Fun little wrinkle on this map. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a nice little quick one. Um, I hope you found some of it fun or informative. Maybe even a little bit of both. Um, I have a daily release schedule on YouTube if you're interested in getting better at the game of Risk. I invite you to subscribe to my channel and come along this journey with me. And until next time, for all of you on the path to world domination, good games, and good luck.